Test for a geometric sequence. In order to decide if a sequence is geometric, all we need to do is deduce that there is a constant ratio between successive terms, r is equal to term 2 divided by term 1, or term 3 divided by term 2, and so on. In general, r is equal to term n divided by term n minus 1 subscript. If this condition does not hold, then the sequence is not a geometric sequence. Using the sequence 3, 6, 12 and so on, we find that term 2 divided by term 1 is equal to 6 divided by 3, which equals 2. Term 3 divided by 2 is equal to 12 divided by 6, which again equals 2. Therefore, the sequence is geometric and the common ratio for the geometric sequence is equal to 2. Example 1. Finding a term in a geometric sequence. Find the eighth term in the sequence 32, 16, 8 and so on. Solution. Determine what type of sequence you are given. In a geometric sequence we know term 2 divided by term 1, which is equal to term 3 divided by term 2, and so on. To determine if this is a geometric sequence, test for a constant ratio. Term 2 divided by term 1 is equal to 16 divided by 32, which equals a half. Term 3 divided by term 2 is equal to 8 divided by 16, which also equals a half. Therefore, the sequence is geometric, and we can use the general term. Tn is equal to a times r to the power of minus 1 to calculate the value of the eighth term. From the given sequence, we see that a is equal to 32, and we worked out r is equal to a half. To find the value of the eighth term, substitute values for a, r, and n, and simplify. 8 is equal to 32 times a half in brackets to the power of 8 minus 1, which is equal to 32 times a half in brackets to the power of 7, which equals 1 quarter. The eighth term has a value of a quarter. Example 2. Determine the position of a term in a geometric sequence. Which term in the geometric sequence 5, 15, 45 and so on has a value of 3,645? Solution. We know we are dealing with a geometric sequence, therefore there will be a constant ratio. We need to find the position of the term with the value of 3,645 in the sequence. In other words, we need to work out the value of n. a equals 5, r equals 15 divided by 5, which is equal to 3, and 45 divided by 15 is equal to 3. So r is equal to 3. And we're given that tn is equal to 3,645. Use the formula for the general term Tn equal to a times r to the power of n minus 1 and substitute values for Tn, for a and r, to work out n. 3,645 equal to 5 times 3 to the power of n minus 1 is the same as 5 times 3 to the power of n minus 1 equal to 3,645. Divide both sides by 5. 3 to the power of n minus 1 is equal to 729. 3 to the power of n minus 1 is equal to 3 to the power of 6. Therefore, n minus 1 is equal to 6. Therefore, n is equal to 7. The seventh term in this sequence has a value of 3,645. Example 3. Determining a general term of a geometric sequence when given two terms. The third term of a geometric sequence is 4, and the sixth term is 32 divided by 27. Find the nth term. Solution. 
We're given two pieces of information, so our goal here is to express all unknowns in terms of A and R. Then we can solve simultaneously. This particular type of question comes up often in this section. Using the general term Tn is equal to A times R to the power of n minus 1, and given the information, we can write out the following two equations. T3 equal to A times R to the power of 3 minus 1 equal to 4, therefore A times R squared is equal to 4, equation 1. And T6 is equal to A times R to the power of 6 minus 1, which equals 32 divided by 27, therefore A times R to the fifth power is equal to 32 divided by 27. Equation 2. The simplest way to solve these type of equations simultaneously is to divide the one by the other rather than using the method of substitution. In this way, we eliminate one variable easily. Equation 2 divided by equation 1 gives a times r to the fifth power divided by a times r squared is equal to 32 over 27 divided by 4. Therefore, r cubed is equal to 8 divided by 27. The cube root of r cubed is equal to the cube root of 8 divided by 27. Therefore, r is equal to 2 thirds. Now substitute the value of r back into one of the equations to calculate a. Using equation 1, we get a times 2 thirds squared is equal to 4. a times 4 ninths is equal to 4. Therefore, a is equal to 4 times 9 fourths. Therefore, a is equal to 9. Similarly, if we substitute into equation 2, we will also get a equal to 9. Hence, the nth term or general term of the sequence is Tn is equal to 9 times 2 thirds to the power of n minus 1. We can check this formula for the nth term using one of the given terms in the geometric sequence. For example, we know that the third term is equal to 4. Substituting n equal to 3 into the general term yields t3 equal to 9 times 2 thirds to the power of 3 minus 1. This equates to 9 times 2 thirds to the power of 2, which gives 9 times 4 ninths, which is equal to 4, as required.